Okay, is everybody there? Spy looks like an immediate long. I mean, it's just crazy, but it does. Looks like you could go long the gap in the spy today. Not the cues, but the spy. <clears throat> so, there's a call at 10 on this company, I guess. Carnings or something. That is already reported. I guess they have a call. So, I think everyone should be out of this by 10 because it could do something wild in either direction. Rate's good. Only thing with volume. If there was no good gaps, I'd say no shorts today, but remember today is almost like a Monday, it's a Tuesday. Fourteen bucks is the first target, people. When we're done, we'll talk about the market. Oh, I didn't change the calendar. This is not a NASDAQ one. This should open on time. This should open at 9.30. In an ideal world, this doesn't back up over 1525, but I don't know if that happens, but that would be the weakest thing for this. It's almost at 15. I don't know what the Sprite is going to be in this video. Okay. Could be 15 cents. Could be 20. Look. I think you got to estimate a 50 cent stop. Now it's 30 cents. Hmm. Good luck, everyone.
Will you be happy today if you make five hundred dollars? Okay. You may not be holding this long. Okay, fourteen seventy five is low. Okay, just wait. Let this tighten up here in the spread. Okay, this looks fine. This looks fine. Okay, I don't have the entry yet, but the stop's going to be 1525. I don't have the entry yet. Okay, if this hits 74 by 25, I don't know if it hits. If this goes over 15, it won't. And then there'll be a different one. So just wait. 74 by 25. 74 by 25 is a little bit big of a stop, but I did tell you it might be 50 cents. 74 by 25, this could hit. This could hit. This might do it. But don't jump the gun. Nope, it hasn't hit yet. Oh, you gotta wait. You gotta wait. It looks like it's gonna pop over 15. Wait. It'll be a different entry. Just wait. It looks fine. Looks great. Here, it popped over 15. Wait. Oh, this is spready. Look at this. All right, no one should be in it yet. This is why you don't take the trade until it triggers. What did I say? 15.25. Let's see where it goes. Well, if this doesn't set up, it doesn't. Okay, there's nothing to do yet in that. That didn't hit. DDS is still way too thin. DAKT, way too thin. And SPY is going. SPY is going. SPY is just going. Okay, I'm still watching this MNTA. I don't know for how much longer, but I'm still watching it. No one should be in it yet. That never triggered. The market looks great, though. This can't keep going. If it goes up to 16, it's a total bust. In fact, I don't even want it to keep rallying here. Nope. Don't do it. It's not going to work. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, this isn't right. It shouldn't be doing this. This isn't gonna set up right, it's not right. Well, we tried, we waited, we saw. There's nothing to do here. I'll look at I'll look at anything, just write any ideas in the room. But right now I see nothing to short at all. I'll go look at the market. It gave that thing a chance, it's not right. Um, I don't like this, but it did rally. If you, you, you would have already had to take it. You would have already had to take it, you would have already had to be out. You can go long the spy. You can go long the spiders. Put a stop at 235.25. 235.25, it's 50 cents. You can go long the spiders ETF with a stop at 235.25. This was the best gap today. It was a long. It's the overall market. It has the biggest target. It went immediately. It's going. I said this was the best gap today. We don't usually play the ETFs, but you could do this here. It's stop is 50 cents, and the target is well more than um, R's. really 238. 238, 240. If this pulls back, I'll call another entry, but this is only 50 cents right here. 235.25 is a stop if you want to be long to spy. It looks much better than the Qs. The market's just screaming higher. This is the best trade if you want to do something today. I don't think you should do this, okay? <laughs> <laughs> because I wouldn't do this, but if somebody wants to do something, here is a trade, okay? In my professional opinion, don't do anything today, though, because the only good gap that we watched that we liked isn't setting up right. 1475, 1573. All right. Let's look it up. You can give me ideas if you want. I'll look at stuff. I think this is too big of a rally here. And I don't think this is going to collapse. Too big of a rally. Market gapping up. Market strong. To, 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 not what you want to see. Not what you want to see here. 
What was the other ones? HSBC. Look. Look at this piece of crap, too. This probably falls, but look what it did. Cayman, dude, you didn't do this, did you? Let's just go look at the other things. Thanks for adding or emphasizing that I wouldn't do the spy. Well, we talked about this. There's times when I'm going to call trades that if people want ideas. I, John, is one of them. He wants all my ideas. What do I think about everything? Rumi does, too. But I mean, obviously, if I thought it was good enough, I'd do it. So, you know, but some of you like to take trades and are not risking $1,000 a trade and are okay just taking something and almost scalping it for 10, 15, 20 cents. It's unfortunate when you don't say that until a few minutes later. But I do say the trades I'm taking. Yes, you do, you do say okay. the trades well, you're taking. Right. But it's that emphasize about the fact that... The fact that what? You know, I'm telling you the trades I'm not I'm taking it. I don't have to say I'm not taking it. I say when I do take it. Then. I say when I do take it. Because I've taken them and then two minutes later you've said, oh, But you know that I didn't take them. That's not a good one to do. I mean, no, you know uh -huh. that I didn't take the trades. So if you were, yes. if you want to follow me, then guess what? You do exactly what I do. I, I mean, do the, now. Yes, now you do. But, I do. But that's what I'm telling you. I used to do everything. Yes. Right. But if you are following me to the letter, then you're doing what I do. Okay. I'm but I'm still to. looking at things I'm and analyzing things. Yes. Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan, are you doing anything today? Here, this is going. FCX. What was the other one that Obi-Wan wanted to look at? Uh, KHC. I'll look at that now. FCX fell. I didn't even see this gap. Did it gap or did it just open into the gap? This looks like a sector gap here, Koala Bear. It fell. I didn't read it. I don't like this enough to call it. You Did you do it on your own? You would have had to do it on your own here. Koala Bear, did you do it on your own? Let's just see where it went. It did have a little 25 cent move in here. What was the other one? KHC? No, I hope, you didn't do anything with this, Obi-Wan, did you? This is rallying. Yeah, I'll, I'll look at stuff. I'll look at stuff. I ask you for ideas if you want me to look at things. I think the best thing to do here today is nothing. The market is higher. The market is higher. So I wish that we had a good long today, actually. I said that this morning. But then this thing popped up, but it's not right. This is where there's a level of uh, personal responsibility where you, I want you to kind of decide for yourself what you're doing. I want you to, I want everyone to, because I'm not gonna be guiding you for the rest of my life. I mean, let's just be real here. I'm not gonna be running the trading room for the rest of my life. I'm not, I'm just telling you right now, I'm not. So I, you, I want you to use your own mind and all of you here, this is for all of you. I want you to use your own mind and make your own choices incorporated with what I teach you because you will not have me directing you for the rest of your life. Yes. If I fast forward 10 years from now, I'm not doing this. I gotta be honest with you. Mm. I'm doing something completely different, but still related to the market. So, you know, you have to think yourself, and that's what I wanted you to do Friday. I wanted you to decide. I did. Okay. Even though I didn't take the trade. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe you then that you didn't do that because you didn't like the green move up but then you learned something today where it really was okay. I did, yeah. definitely. Your long index futures, that's fine. Okay, did, did anyone go long the market? If you did, from where I called it, you are up. You're up. Um, I would watch this around 2.36, 2.36.25, around the next reversal time, 9.40. I would watch it into 9.40, 9.45. If this doesn't halt at 9.40, it could halt at 9.45, pull back. Is anyone in anything at all? Discipline dudes along the index futures. Anyone else? This this looks very good. Again, I said not to do this, but if you had, you would be up. Yeah. So some of the trades that I call that I don't do do work. Some of them don't. Oh, they but, do. You know. They do. I've taken market trades when you haven't done that. Yeah. But I think that it is. There's so many things that are out this week. There's a lot of reports. We will have a lot of things to look at. This is really like a Monday. And I just don't see any reason to, to jump the gun when the market's screaming to new highs. 
if we don't have something good. Now here, this is going to go right up to 236. Here it is, right up to 236. Amazon is insane. Amazon is making brand new all-time highs right now for no reason other than the market's rallying. It gapped up. To, uh, 846, 853. I just couldn't call any options in these because I thought to myself, gosh, where could these go? But they're just going. Two thir 833. Where's Apple? This is tired from the move it had. And Netflix, not yet. And Baba doesn't look right. It, It's holding, but I just don't, I don't think any of this looks right in here. Well, that could just be corrected, couldn't it? And then take off again. I don't think it should have done that with the market the way it's traded. Market's going higher and look at what this is doing the last week. All right, who wants to go over what? So it looks like some people did go long the market, that's fine. If you did, you're up. Um, PLKI, you bought calls. PLKI, it looks like it just got bought out or something. What is this? It's This was, looks like it just got bought out. I don't know what's happening here in this J, JAL trader. Uh, Popeye's chicken, yeah. Did you get in this before today? If, if you did, you're up a crap load of money. Did you? X, you bought X options on a Friday. Let's look at it. U.S. Steel. Today's open. Okay, Dubois bought U.S. Steels. Look. Hmm. I don't think this is a good buy, but it's obviously rallying. Uh, you know this the we we i think we didn't we talk about this this sector before or oh, we're talking about coal i you know i i i'd be careful with this if you're up today in this i'd almost get out oh let's look at the target in the qcom that i john was looking at which he wanted to buy one day and short the next let's look and then I never called any longer term trades in this. I said, I don't think they're ready yet. And, and I'm glad I didn't because look what the market's doing. These things are pushing back probably here with the market. This is still weak, but see, it wasn't ready yet to short. Let's look at QCOM. TRVN. Isn't ready yet either. Weak though. TRVN. Oh, TRVN. This was this was the one that came and dude had mentioned right into the open. Did you do it? It 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 went like twenty five cents. I don't think this was worth doing. It did have a little tiny move down. It had a tiny baby move down. <laughs> Let's look. <clears throat> it had a baby move. I'm perfectly fine never doing anything on a Monday, to be honest with you. We've talked about it. I, I, I think it's the least, least attractive day to trade. Now, last Monday, there was two really good things. That's rare. It's odd. It can happen. But Mondays are definitely the slowest days in the market. So here's the SPY at 236. Um, 23597 I think that that I think that once you once you start making money consistently then you then you can give yourself more leeway. You can give yourself more leeway with the risk. You can give yourself more leeway where you could do two gaps instead of just one. You could give yourself more leeway where you can do some things on your own. But until you're at that point where you're 100% comfortable with everything you're doing, then I would just do the things that I do. So, uh, Sedona Trader asked last night, he's here right now, well, how, do you, when, when, how long does it take to get good? 
it, it's different for every person. Of course it is. Yeah, yes. it's different for it every is. person. I wish that I could say that it, it, it is this amount of time and this amount of time and this amount of time. It's different for every person. Yes. Clearly, some people immediately take the class and immediately start making money and immediately get good. Here this is. It's going over 236. I think 238 is a realistic target for the market today. 237.50, 238. But, but, but I think that it depends on your background. And I honestly think that it depends how much people are in their head. And I think it depends, you know, if you've learned something about gaps, it's the opposite of me, you gotta forget that. And I also think it does have a lot to do with whether or not you've taken other classes or lost money before you met me. Because people that have, sometimes have, you know, really in their mind, a lot of emotional issues about money. And that is something that just takes time to overcome. I do believe it can be overcome. I wouldn't take the time with people. Let's see what this ended up doing. Nothing yet. Is anyone long anything at all besides the market, which looks great. So let's go over NUS. Let's look at what's out tonight. Some people said some things they're in. None of them were actual companies except for the Popeye's chicken. I guess JL Trader did an option. And I I don't know what this thing does here. Um, what was the symbol for that? PLKI. This this looks like it's not really going to go anywhere. So I don't know what your expectations are with this here. Sina. Sina, did this gap today or you're just long this as a trade or what? Oh, this took off like a crazy person. Look, it actually gapped down and rallied. I don't know where the volume came into this here, though. Let's look. I, I'm not sure where the volume was in this to take it. If you are in this, target's 80, but... You must have taken it on very low volume, Rumi, because these bars look weird. It's it, You're up. It's working. I would look to be taking profits soon. It's been going nonstop up ever since it opened. In fact, if this breaks 79, I'd just get out. <clears throat> okay, let's see where this five went. 236.04. All right, hold on. We're going to look at what's out for tonight first, and then we'll go over NUS. And did, did anyone do anything else other than, there, did anyone do